Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for September 29th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, an FDA advisory panel voted 10 to 1 that data provided by PTC Therapeutics to support approval for Translarna are inclusive. The panel said that more work would be needed to establish whether the drug is effective in nonsense mutation Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Also in the news, a Phase three study of Zogenix ZX008 for the treatment of Dravet syndrome met its main goal, significantly reducing convulsive seizures versus placebo. CEO Stephen Farr commented, We remain on track to submit applications for regulatory approvals in the U.S. and Europe in the second half of 2018. In other news, the FDA approved Eli Lilly's Verzenio to treat certain adults with hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. The CDK46 inhibitor is cleared for use in combination with Fazlodex after the cancer has advanced on endocrine therapy and for use on its own if patients were previously treated with endocrine therapy and chemotherapy after the cancer had metastasized. In addition, Eli Lilly said that Jan Lenberg, president of Lilly Research Labs, will retire at the end of May next year, with Dan Skavronsky named as his replacement. Commenting on the departure of Lundberg, CEO David Ricks remarked, We've seen our pipeline of medicines grow significantly under his leadership. And finally, the FDA granted priority review to Roche's filing for Pergetta in combination with Herceptin and chemotherapy for the adjuvant treatment of HER2-positive early breast cancer. The company noted that the agency is expected to make a decision on the application by January 28, 2018. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 